Leo here, welcome to 2021. Hoping you're well, and most importantly, keeping safe and well. And just wanted to touch base. This is our first full week back, I guess, after the Christmas and New Year. And listen, I hope you had a lovely time over the holidays. Uh, it's been very different, that's for sure. You know, remotely, I guess, connecting with family and friends. Um, but I, I hope nonetheless that it's been a, a lovely time over the the Christmas and New Year and that you've had a chance to recharge your batteries and are ready for 2021. Let's do this. <laughs> so just wanted to, to, to check in with you and yeah, just to, to see how your, your 2021 is looking so far. Um, you know, typically New Year brings, brings change or, or things that we kind of, you know, we take a look back on on a very unusual year behind us and, and looking forward and, and possibly on some things that we'd like to, to focus on for the year ahead. And as always with my, my video um, shares, I like to come up with content that I think might be useful to you, might provide value to you. And it's generally in sharing things that I've experienced in, on my journey. And hopefully that gives you some pause for thought or maybe some occasionally some inspiration. And certainly with 2021 upon us, uh, you know, we, we've, we've taken a look at a few things in our lives. And absolutely, we've decided that 20, you know, January 2021, uh, we're going to make some change. And it involves things that a lot of people typically do in the beginning of a new year. Um, we have, since the beginning of January, we've gone on a keto diet, which we typically do maybe every three months. We'll kind of detox for a month. And we'll go on full keto, myself and my, my beautiful wife Peggy. So we cut out the carbs, we cut out the starches. Um, you know, we, 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 we typically do that. And, and it's good. You generally feel pretty good, better for doing it. Uh, in addition to that, we have decided to cut, cut the, the alcohol out. We, we love our wine. So we're going we're gonna to have a dry January. And again, just to couple that with, with keto and, and detox a bit. And we've also started to play tennis this week. So we've committed to playing tennis a couple of times a week. And on other days, um, to get some, some beach walks in, we're blessed to have beautiful beaches here. Yesterday evening, we went for a, a 4K walk on the beach after Peggy's finished work. So that was beautiful. Um, I'm back in my routine. I was up at 4.45 this morning. I got my 5K in and um, was back home by 6 30 after the gym and you know got our day started started reaching out to some of my members checking emails drop peggy into work and now i'm just running some some videos and and headed back home to to get back into it so some pretty pretty cool stuff going on our kind of incentive for doing that it's twofold so uh, the end of january is my birthday and the first week in February is Peggy's birthday. So we've decided to treat ourselves this year and assuming we can we can maintain that challenge in January to, to stay on keto diet, to stay off the, the wine, we're gonna treat ourselves to a weekend in a, in a beautiful hotel here, the Kimpton. And we'll do that in between both of our birthdays. So that's kind of our incentive. So I'd be curious to, you know, to hear what your plans are, what you got going on or um, where you're at with it all. And, you know, as I say, I think, I think a new year, you know, brings new hope, I guess, right? It certainly does for me in, in, in looking back over many, many new years. And, you know, I, I think one, one thing that I've learned, and, and I want to share this with you, I put it out a couple of times before, but one thing that I've learned, and it's purely come from my, my SFM journey, my six-figure mentor journey, and those of you that have been following me a bit will know that I, I joined the SFM in August of 2020. Uh, spent two months learning, learning, learning. October, launched my company. And each, each month, it's, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So my hopes for, for 2021 are to continue growing the company, to continue to impact people's lives and, and in helping them um, to make change that they've been looking for for quite a while. And one thing that I've learned, and, and, and I want to share, and, and I hope you, you find some value in it. Typically when we decide to do something to change, 
we want to say how do I want my life to look okay how do I want my life to look one month two months six months from now year from now two years from now and what I learned through this journey just in the last six months is that I have focused more on how do I want to feel the emotions how do I want to feel one month from now two months from now six months from now a year from now and I found that for me to be really really powerful more powerful on saying what do I want my life to be or what do I want it to look like six months now I've tapped into my emotions and the reason I've done that is because I can look back on the last year and the last year is probably not the best um, comparison because of COVID and we've been in lockdown and different things but I'm talking specifically with how I would feel about my work about my working life and essentially especially how I'd feel in the morning and I could say looking back on the last three to four years of my working life um, be it in in my, my most recent job before before I started marketing online which was sales and marketing before that I was I was in the corporate side of the Ritz Carlton brand down here I can I can look back at those times and the emotions of how I was feel and it wasn't a feeling of happiness it was a feeling of anxiousness of stress of really not feeling fulfilled and really not feeling passionate about what I was doing and that's what I've been tapping into and you know I, I look back I can look back eight months ago and and how I felt typically and I I've talked in other videos about you know how it started to feel on a Sunday evening knowing that I was going to be going into work on a Monday and I'd start feeling anxious already on a Sunday evening and then each morning that I'd wake up I'd feel like I was dragging myself out of bed because I had to go to work and definitely anxious feeling what was waiting for me I worked in a pretty toxic work environment where you know there were a lot of outbursts some really poor management and the way they treated staff was was really not not healthy and so I, I would have this feeling of anxiousness going to work every day it's like what's waiting for me and that changed from me now waking up at 4 45 by choice because I cannot wait to start my day it's as simple as that it's a whole different set of emotions I absolutely love what I do and while my company is not at the level that I want to get it at it's it you have to put in the time to get it to that point you don't just launch any business you could launch a restaurant you could launch a retail store it's going to take time to build that up and that's the same for me but I already see the fruits of my labor uh, I put in the time I showed up I learned and learned and learned and now it's beginning to to to, to, to give that return on investment so I'm just gonna keep continuing being committed to that but for me the biggest motivation for me is how do I want to feel a month from now two months from now six months from now if if I feel unmotivated at any point I just have to think about how I felt a year ago going to work compared to how I feel going to going to work now because it's on my terms and it's really really powerful I'm 52 and I've only discovered that so I'm I'm enthusiastic and passionate to share that I hope it helps I'd love to hear your thoughts on it um, maybe you can commit to this month to reaching out to me you know I generally I typically have um, my contact details and I, I communicate a lot on whatsapp you can find me on Facebook you can find me through my website I'd love for you to connect with me and, and you know share your perspective on this and and in just seeing yeah where, where we can where we can and look at bringing our 2021 collectively because I'm here to help that's absolutely um, really really where I'm at so as always I hope you found some value of this um, I have sent I'm just sending you such great wishes for for a safe uh, and an amazing 2021 and that I that I hope that the things that you would like to, to have happen in your life that you find a way to make that happen and as always thanks for tuning in and stay safe thanks